his mom says he was going through a tough time recently as gun violence has had a big impact on their family this year. KMAX Cameron Mendoza joins us with more on this young man's life. Brian and Lauren, Priscilla Lucio, Zadrian's mom, says they are still heartbroken after her nephew, 12-year-old Jordan Rosales, was shot and killed in July just this year. Now, five months later, Zadrian, his cousin, taken the same way. She says despite everything that happened, she forgives those who are involved and hopes her son is remembered as the kid he was and not for the mistake he made. He cleaned his room. He put that picture up and... He was trying, he was trying to be better. Priscilla Lucio says her 14-year-old son, Zadrian, was dealing with a lot since losing his younger cousin, Jordan, earlier this year. When Jordan, his cousin, passed away, unfortunately, the same way, you know, Zadrian went into deep depression and he went to go try to get help. Lucio says he was doing better, giving himself to God days before he was shot and killed. He was always smiling, always making jokes, and he, he was, you know, he was happy. And um, he was changing a little bit. He did hang around with, you know, the wrong people at the wrong time, but he was not like that. My son was not like that. And he was always at home. It was just me and him. Adrian's cousin, Ruben Robles, says while they try and cope with the loss of these young boys, he hopes other parents can learn from what they're going through right now. It's critical that we teach our kids this at an early stage so that way they'll know the discernment of choosing whether they should be in this environment or not. You know what I mean? I think it falls back on us as parents to instill that in our children because if we don't, you know what I mean, situations like this might take place and a big thing is, is to love each other deeply and to hold on to today, you know what I mean, and pray without ceasing because tomorrow's not promised and it might be your last prayer. If you'd like to donate to the GoFundMe to help with Zadrian's funeral expenses, that link is up on our website at everythinglubbock.com.